few places are richer in tradition, more steeped in nostalgia than this old horseshoe on the banks of the Olentangy, the home of the Ohio State Buckeyes in the scarlet and gray have this place rocking already. Today, a top 25 matchup on hand, two of college football's premier teams preparing to square off. As we'll see, the number 11 team in the country, the Florida State Seminoles, taking on the second-ranked team in the land, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. And the Seminoles will kick it away first. Coming out with it, it's Flowers. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. So the Ohio State Buckeyes will have some work to do after that short return. And there he is. When you build a tight end, you'd build one just like this, especially with those reliable mitts, Jesse. Yeah, Reese, he makes big plays. In and the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. This offense already in the black zone, a little bit backed up. How do they want to respond? They come out to throw the football, be aggressive. And this defense was ready, and they got pressure on the quarterback and got a sack on the very first snap. Big first down sack for the defense. Brings up second down. Off the bootleg. Wants to toss it. And the defense gets loose. Bringing the heat and down he goes again. Man, can there be a better start for a defense than setting the tone with back-to-back -back sacks? Forcing a third and long. First time out the gates. Really good job by this defense. And not the optimum setup to try to salvage the opening drive with a third and long. Off the play fake. Going over the top. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football. No PI. Able to swat it away. Pass incomplete. The Buckeyes decide to punt it away. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Slips through the line. And the punt team able to sling him to the ground. The Seminoles offense will have its first possession of the game. One matchup to watch in this one is how well do the backers tackle in space, David? Yeah, and you've got to have great linebackers to get this guy on the ground. And they've got it. So it's going to be an interesting matchup. A lot of head-to-head -head battles, linebacker versus running back. Yeah, tackling him in space, but also covering him out of the backfield. These two dudes are going to be shadowing each other all game long. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. They'll give it to the back. And it'll be a pickup of nine. They're facing a third and one. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They'll try to power their way ahead. Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets them a first at the 29. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. The Seminoles will snap it on first and 10. The give is to Williams. Able to pick up a couple down to the 27. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Oh. 
caught in the backfield. It's Lee. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Well, give the defense credit on that one because they knew coming into this one that they were going to try to get this receiver the ball in a variety of ways. They were ready for the screen there, and they create a negative play. They're within field goal range at the 29. Let's see if they can pick up a few or the first down on third and long. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is they got a field goal in their back pocket. And here comes the field goal unit. And this will be a bit of a challenge, a 46-yard attempt from the right hatch. No, oh, no good. The kicker couldn't quite get it through, and the scoreboard remains the same. comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves them with second and four. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. That's a really nice run right there. One of the things I love about him, he runs with such physicality and with the toughness. Do you think Woody Hayes, the great Ohio State coach, would have loved to have this guy in his backfield? His running style just marries so well with that. When you think about Ohio State and their tradition at running back, right? With all the athletes they've had throughout the decades, this guy was meant to play in the shoe. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. The passing game continues to be prolific, and as much as Ohio State has been built on toughness, they've been built recently on the efficient passing game. I mean, so many good quarterbacks. And, and you know you're going to get great play calling, great offensive design. Ohio State offenses every year, year after year, the names change, but the production continues to be the same. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. And the Buckeyes will try to put one on the board on first and goal. On the option. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. They keep pushing forward. Now back to work on second and goal from the six. He'll pull it on the read. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Well, that's when the defense would like to have back. They would have wished the quarterback pitched that football, but instead, they took the wrong guy away and made it an easy decision for the QB. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And he got into the house from the six to finish it. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Leaves it with the back. 
tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Back to the ground with the running back. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Looking to throw at Tuiangalale. He finds his man. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out working on those critical down and distances third down so having that conversion this early in the game that's got to feel good for this offense give to the running back that's what you expect from a senior don't give them any extra yards great tackle there now that's what you try to do as a defense limit those damages when they run the football get them on the ground short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Caught over the middle. It's Benson. They've got the defense reeling right now with that big play to the 29. Nice catch there. I'll tell you, the, the Seminole passing attack has come a long way over the years. When I was playing against them back in the day, they were in the I formation every single play. Maybe it was play action. Maybe it was a shot play to the perimeter of the field. Now, they've got guys running all different kinds of routes, playing at different tempos, lining up all over the field. This dude is a guy you just have to know where he is every single snap. They think there's room to run to the right here. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. What a great play by the linebacker. Do you talk about filling a hole? Defensive line does their jobs. He comes in the hole and says, sit down, sir. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. Out of the gun, the inside give. They make the stop, but he got work done on the ground, picking up six to the 23. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Gives it to the back on the draw. And they'll move the chains and a good way to wrap up the first quarter. And this offense has got it all working, right? It's just been tough. This, this defense is on its heels, can't figure it out. A bunch of plays in a row now, a uh, bunch of success. This offense is doing what they want to do, how they want to do it. Defense is going to need to do something different to try to mix up this run. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. The Seminoles are threatening on first and goal. Firing to the right, complete. Touchdown, Florida State! A great catch and run for six. Well, they started with horrible field position, but ended with perfect field position in the middle of the end zone. It all comes down to execution, Reese. You've got to have guys going out and doing their jobs. You saw the offensive line up front. They were physical. Skill players made it happen with the ball in their hands, and the quarterback really showed command on that last drive. Ready to try the point after. Right down the middle. Mm -hmm. 
All tied up and just about set to kick it away. And he hauls it in and everybody's on the edge of their seats. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put it on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. Running the option, it's Howard. And he probably should have just handed that one off. He has snowed under in the backfield. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Grabbed over the middle. It's a Buka. Obliterates him, still on the move. Touchdown, Ohio State. Hauled it in and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land. And man, what a game-changing tight play. The offense throwing the football deep in their own end, and they're probably thinking to themselves, hey, let's just get some more space. Let's try to get a first down and give ourselves room to work with. What an individual effort by the receiver after he had the ball in his hand, taking it all the way to coast on that touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cap it off by saying so much for bad field position, a 91-yard scoring toss. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming grabbed behind the line. It's Morlock. And they pick up just a few on that completion. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route running. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots in zones. you got to get him involved. They'll line up for a second down play. They're going to run it. Nice move to pick up yardage. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. They're trying to get to it. They've got the screen set up. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. Man, this defense is so athletic in their front seven. They're able to fight off the blocks on that third down screenplay, make the tackle. Now it's setting up fourth down. The Knowles will call on their punt team. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Keeps it on the bootleg, looking to throw. Grabbed in the middle, it's Scott. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. 
look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid tackle. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see him develop in the middle. And you could tell they had keys on the tight end. He wasn't going anywhere after he caught that football. Nice move there. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. The Buckeyes will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. It's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Give to the running back. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. That is such a good run. I'll tell you, if you're going to put on a seminal helmet, you better be dangerous with the ball in your hands at the running back position, right? You think back to the late, great Bobby Bowden. He was always able to recruit a difference maker at that position. He would have loved to have this guy in his offense because it feels like he can score a touchdown every single time he has the ball. Stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down, the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Motion from the offense. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, and David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion, so everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run. It just it makes the defense communicate and see if we can just get him out of the spot. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. From the gun, running back on the move. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, he did everything he could to try to avoid all those defenders, but at the end, it's still a negative play. Tackle for loss. One defender, then the next one. The blitzing guy got a shot at him. Everybody had a shot. It took a while to get him down. Yeah, great effort by that defense. Not quitting on the play. They go to the draw. Shakes off the defender. And he didn't have a whole lot of operating room after the juke. Not much room to run. And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. The play action fake. Quick completion on the out. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. The Seminoles will have it first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. That's caught. It's Morlock. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. Finds his man. It's Benson. 
He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Sometimes it's easy for the receiver to get lost running a drag through all that traffic, Jesse. Yeah, and this is a receiver too, Reese, who's dangerous once he has the football in his hands. So I like the idea on offense of trying to get this guy the ball quickly to see what he can do out once he has it. They keep attacking through the air. Catch in the middle. It's Morlock. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone, make them execute, and rally to the ball. 100% zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. Throws to the wideout. Touchdown, no! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. Lining up to add another. Splits the uprights. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they top it off with a 14-yard pass for the touchdown. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. Out of the end zone. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Here comes the offense on second down. Looking downfield, it's Howard. Quickly complete. Nice move to keep moving. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, looks like we've got a great one going down in Columbus today. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. And with that, we send it back to the guys in the shoe. The Buckeyes will kick it away to start the second half. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. First play from scrimmage, and they'll keep it on the ground. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Pressure coming. Got a man. It's Douglas. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. This is a very tough slot receiver to cover if you're a linebacker because of how quick and how shifty he is. You never seem to know which way he's going. And he always seems to create an open space for his QB. Quick catch on third down. And the Seminoles will move the sticks. 
Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Pulls and throws off the RPO. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And the Knowles have this offense rolling. The run from the shotgun. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Lee. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. And the Seminoles come to the line with a new set of downs. Oh, he's looking to throw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They've got a really good drive going, but a little speed bump here at second and 13. The give is to Williams. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. On the move, it's Uyangalale. Looking down the middle. Makes the grab. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Long drive continues as the offense keeps working the ball down the field. Caught in the backfield, it's Douglas. Oh, how did you make that move? Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Just another big play for this guy who spent the entire game wide open, couple of touchdowns there, and he moves the sticks again, David. Yeah, so I'll keep finding him, Reese. I mean, this is a guy that, listen, we're in the second half now. He's already made plays. I know I can trust him, so I'm going to continue to feature him in this offense because I know he'll continue to make big plays. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D-tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double-teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. And off from the shotgun. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Got his man quickly. They get him stopped at the two, but it'll be first and goal. 
so nice when you're an offense and you get in these third and shorts and you know the defense has to be aggressive, has to commit guys up front, especially in the red zone area. Nice job by this offense, slipping in the pass, getting rid of the football, setting up a first and goal. Quick pass on the jet motion. Touchdown, Seminoles! And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We've got to figure something out. We've got to try to do something a little bit different, bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, the score is now 21 to 14. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. Let's see what he can do with the return. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Wide open downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. This guy's going after a day sort of like the one Joey Galloway had against Michigan State in 93, already well on his way. And Joey Galloway had that Bayou speed, that Freaky Friday speed, and he's got it too. I mean, just such a dynamic weapon on the outside. It's a good idea to find him and throw him the football early, in the middle, and late. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You see all this movement in football now, all the stem in the defensive line. They're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. Running back searching for a hole. He showed off the stiff arm, but apparently he needed a couple more. A lot of defenders around to stop him. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. On third down, he drops to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Scott. Nice pick up there. Gets him the first down and sets him up at the 45-yard line. It's really hard when you get in those predictable situations. Defenses are sitting on the sticks. Receivers have to understand where that first down marker is. Heads up play, nose for the first down marker. Get in there and get it. Quarterback on the keeper. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. This defense really has their hands full, guys. They got to play with great eye discipline because they don't know who's going to be keeping the football in the run game. And that time, you saw the QB. He was able to kind of skirt his way to get some positive yards. And the Buckeyes come to the line in the hurry up. Holds and fires complete to the right. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get the ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play. And you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Looking to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Buckeye. Field shrinks, tight end blows. 
Big targets, big results. <laughs> I've never heard it put that way, but you're dang right. That guy is so big. A lot of times you get a DB matched up on him, he can just post him up. A linebacker, he can run by him. So that's why these tight ends are so dangerous down here in this red zone. On to attempt the try. And the extra point was good, and we are all tied up in the fourth. They put together an 81-yard drive, and the finisher, an 18-yard touchdown throw. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. From inside the 10, here he comes. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back on. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. Man, what a blow for this offense. You've got the football in the fourth quarter, a chance to go take the lead. Now you turn it over. Your defense is going to have to go out there and step up for you. And the offense takes the field eager to go back to work. He'll come out throwing on first down. That's caught. It's Tate. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. And quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Gonna run it. It's Henderson. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast, low. And the offensive linemen, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. Third and long situation. They try to go screen. I think they were hoping it was going to be a big zone and they could get those offensive linemen down the field, but the defense sniffed it out, forcing the incompletion. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And they go back on top. All field goals are not created equal, guys. Kicks in the fourth quarter to take the lead. They just seem to carry so much more weight. So give that young man credit for getting out there and knocking that thing through the uprights with all the pressure, with all the eyeballs on him. He delivered. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. From a couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. They coughed it up on that last drive, but the defense really bailed them out, holding him to a field goal, Jesse. Yeah, and I think the offense kind of got away from their identity a little bit on that last drive, David. They got to kind of get back to doing what they do. Yeah, and hold on to the football. I mean, defense just did their job. Stopped them, held them to a field goal, limited the damage. Now it's time for the offense to get the momentum going again. Just had a solid pickup on first. Now let's see what they've got on second down. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Quick pass on the fly motion. Afterburner's coming. And he picks up a huge chunk of yards on that play before he's finally hauled down. And this receiver is so dangerous. There's so many different ways that he can hurt a defense. you got to throw it to him conventionally, but find creative ways to get him the football out in space and let him go to work. The Seminoles have it with a first and ten. 
Looking to throw it to Uyunglele. And they can't connect, but the flag flies, and I think this is going to be pass interference. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. Wants to throw on first down. Got him downfield. Touchdown, Florida State. And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. Yeah, and a nice job in the fourth quarter making plays and a nice job being on the same page. QB, receiver. You could tell he broke with the football. He caught it in stride, gets into the end zone. Nice pitch and catch right there. Nice chemistry by the QB and wide receiver. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here's the return from inside his ten. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. They think there's room to run to the right here. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And that's a great play by the defensive end. The best athletes on the field play defensive end. You can ask anybody. Yes, I agree, Jesse Reese. See, they agree with me. Same thing. But you watch them get off the football, make the play. That's why you put your athletes there. To throw, it's Howard. Quickly out to the tight end. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. He'll do it himself. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understanding, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options. And he's going to run the football. They were dialed in. He got that sucker to the ground. And here comes the offense on second down. Takes a handoff. It's Henderson. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it then? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. And there was no space, nowhere to go. That play went absolutely nowhere. Sometimes you just need a dude to show up and make a play, and he did. And sometimes you just need to block that dude, and they didn't. The Buckeyes will bring the punt team onto the field. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. After picking up a couple at second and eight, They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. They open the lane, and he hit it again of five out to the 33. 
And, you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long. So that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. Quick strike complete. No, oh, he got loose. Just gashing this defense. A big gainer to the 40-yard line. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. The Seminoles have it with a first and ten. Gets it out fast. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the spot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. Second down coming up. Wide receiver coming across in motion. The give is to Williams. Stop just inside the 25. We'll mark it at the 24. Pick up of 10 and a first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. It's now first and 10 from the 24-yard line. They're going to ride this running back. You gotta believe they just want to run it, take care of the football, and keep that clock moving on second and nine. From the gun, running back gets to give. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Yeah, and I'm not surprised. I mean, you put the ball in your best player's hands. Like, late in the game, you've got to trust your guy. I'm interested to see what they do here on third down coming up. Let's call it third and interesting, right? Top clock ticking down. Do I trust my QB to throw the football? I got the lead. I want that clock to continue to roll. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. And now over 300 yards. Still some time left, and he can put up even bigger numbers. And heck, go chase some awards, man. Get some postseason awards. Get an All-American. Just put up a day.